Hi everyone, it's Monique. Fall is here and I am loving it. The crisp cool weather, the pumpkin spice lattes, and apple picking. I know, hashtag basic, but there's nothing wrong with that. So hashtag I love fall. So apple picking is one of my favorite fall activities because it's not only fun, but I also love all the baking I get to do with it afterwards. And with Halloween coming up, you can also decorate your apples to serve at your Halloween parties. So today we're gonna make these skull and crossbone candy dipped apples. Now, these are not your grandma's traditional candy apples. We took more of a spookier twist on them. They're a lot of fun and easy to make and super customizable. So are you ready? Let's decorate. So we're gonna start out by melting our candy melts. We're using black candy melts today because we're gonna spray it with silver color mist to give it a nice little flare. And then later you can make it as spooky as you want. Now you're going to need about four ounces of candy melts to dip. So one bag of candy melts should cover about three to four small to medium sized apples. So I'm using the candy melting pot to melt because this is one of my first purchases when I first started decorating and I absolutely love it. Now, if you don't have one of these, you could certainly melt them in the microwave, but I'm just gonna set these on warm and let them melt and I'm gonna start decorating my apples. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to decorate your apples. The first, we're gonna use these bamboo lollipop sticks and spray them with black color mist to give it that more spookier look. And the other, we're gonna use these caramel apple branch sticks. Now they're made out of plastic, so we're not gonna spray them, but they're so cute that I wouldn't even wanna spray them. They're perfect as is. Go ahead and lay on some parchment paper because we don't want to get the spray everywhere. If you don't have parchment paper, you can also use paper towels as well. So to spray them, we're gonna hold the sticks at the pointed end because that's the part that's gonna go inside the apple, so you don't need to spray that part. And then we're just gonna go ahead and spray them. Ooh. <laughs> so once you're done spraying all of your sticks, go ahead and set them aside on your parchment paper and let them dry for about five minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna check on my candy melts and it's looking pretty good right now. But if you notice that yours are a little too thick or you maybe accidentally overheated them, you can use our Easy Thin Dipping Aid, which will help to thin them out and give it a better consistency for dipping and give that nice smooth look to your apples. So we're using black candy melts today, but you can certainly use whatever color you want to customize your theme or your party or really however you wanna decorate it. And we also have limited edition fall flavors right now. We have caramel apple, pumpkin spice, and candy corn. So those would also be really great flavors to add to dipped apples or cookies or cake pops, cereal treats, whatever you want. And you're gonna have a great buffet at your party and people are gonna love them. But right now we're gonna dip our apples. You're gonna stick it right through the core and just make sure you don't go all the way through the end, just like that and then also the branch sticks. Make sure you use the pointed edge when you're inserting it into the apple. Okay, oh, that one's a little crooked, but that's okay. There we go, perfect. And now our apples are ready for dipping. So now we're gonna go ahead and dunk our apples. So just let it go straight down into the pot. Now this apple's a little big, so you're gonna have to like squish it around, smush, swish it around a little bit to get it covered about three fourths of the way. And there you go. Just let it drip off the excess a little bit. And then we're gonna quickly move it onto our parchment lined cookie sheet. There you go. And there's our first apple. So now that all your apples are dipped, we're gonna go ahead and pop it into the refrigerator for about 15 minutes so that they could firm up and then we can start spraying them. So while my apples are drying in the fridge, I went ahead and got my stencils ready. So we have a lot of stencils available for you in the link below. There's a bat, there's a skull, there's a ghost, and the skull and crossbones that we're gonna do. So I went ahead and cut out a bat. I thought this bat was cute because he's got these googly eyes. Look, he's so cute. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and for this one, we're gonna spray the entire apple silver so that just the bat is left in black. So go ahead and place it on your apple with the piping gel. So once you put the stencil on the apple, we're gonna go ahead and spray the entire apple silver with the color mist, but it also looks pretty cool with this black and white accent piece like that. The bat is white. You could use our pearl color mist to give it that accent piece and it'll look really cool as well. Or there's other ways that you could decorate with color mist around Halloween too. You could spray some cakes or cupcakes with some nice shimmery effects, or you could even decorate your pumpkins with color mist. That would be really cool too. So go ahead and pick up your apple and hold the color mist spray can about six inches away. And then you're gonna slowly turn the apple while we spray it. Try to keep your spray consistent. So now just let your apple dry for a bit. Maybe give it about 10 minutes. 
And then we also have the skull and crossbones that we're going to be making. So I went ahead and this, for this one just cut out the skull so that I can make the skull, the accent piece, with the color mist. So you're going to want to angle your apple in a way that's easy for you to work with and maybe find a spot that's kind of a little flatter. I know apples are round, but find a spot where it will be easy to spray it because then we're just going to lay this right on the apple and you're going to hold it down a little bit and then we're going to spray it. So once you've sprayed it, make sure you give it a couple of minutes to dry before you put it back upright so that it doesn't dry. Now how about them apples? They're spooky enough for Halloween, but they still got the cute factor so everyone's going to love them. Now if you're looking for more Halloween decorating ideas, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And I want to know what your favorite Halloween treats are, so leave me some comments below. Make sure to like this video. My name is Monique. Thanks for watching.